Well, lots of information to share with you guys in today's broadcast. The feds are feverishly in a panic and preparing for the inevitable. Our economy is on a tumble. For starters, here's just a few of the latest things uh, that I found, and I'm going to throw some articles up on the screen. The first one here, there is potentially a layoff tsunami coming as 50% of U.S. companies plan to eliminate jobs within the coming weeks. In fact, if we uh, assess our inflation the way we did in the past, according to John Williams at shadowstats.com, the honest numbers being used would put us more at an unemployment rate of over 24%. One out of every five homes on top of that, sellers are dropping their asking price and sales were down on average about 20% lower. Currently 3.8 million Americans, according to a survey, are set to be evicted from their homes in the next few months and 20 million Americans are behind on their utility bills. As you can see, there's much information to cover in today's broadcast. This is why I am bringing on an economic expert at noblegoldinvestments.com, Colin Plume. He's came on before and he's been really accurate in his predictions. Uh, but on top of everything, what I really want to inquire him about is the Federal Reserve because they are talking about raising rates to fight inflation, which is obviously going to set off the housing market. Take a look here at this article on fortune.com. A housing recession is the first step to a Fed-induced recession. With that, Colin, I know you got to hear hear all of that uh, over there. Um, can you just give us, first of all, uh, in case you guys don't know who Colin is, uh, I brought him on quite a few times, but he works at noblegoldinvestments.com. He is the lead there and he um, ha has amazing information, amazing insight on what is truly going on with the economy. So Colin, uh, what do you think about all of that? Well, yeah, the, obviously the Fed has a mandate. They, they try to get uh, inflation down to 2%. Um, but realistically, those numbers are, are we're not going to see those numbers for a long time. There, there's 40 first and second world countries right now that have over double digit inflation. Um, so I think we need to get more comfortable with seeing inflation in the five to almost 10 percent range. Uh, I don't think we're going back to two percent anytime soon. So, yes, they are trying to slow down the economy. They are raising interest rates which is going to have a dramatic effect on home prices. It's going to make borrowing much more expensive for homeowners, corporations, small business owners. So it, it, I know that they have a mandate, but it does significantly affect pretty much every American uh, day to day when they're trying to move things forward, business owners moving things forward. And that's why hiring is slowing down. That's, that's why they want to slow down on hiring because they don't know how long this is going to last. And unfortunately, if they keep raising interest rates higher, I wouldn't be surprised if we see interest rates get to the seven or even eight percent. No, I agree. And and like if they calculated it like they did in the past with these interest rates, were actually a heck of a lot higher. Uh, but their new system, they've got new ways of doing it to dumb it down, so to speak. And unfortunately, you know, you're you're spot on. You always have been. Your predictions, of what's going to happen in the future, I do see it going up as well, despite what the Joe Biden administration wants to tell you. He's like Pinocchio. The guy lies all the flipping time. It's disgusting and sick. But um, where do you see, I guess, the housing market in, in this near future headed? Well, it's it's going to be an opportunity for buyers. I think that it's finally for a lot of people. Maybe it's finally that time that they've been they've been looking for, you know, to to get into the market. Um, I don't think I, the one thing I will say, I don't think the collapse will be like it was in 2008 because you know, 2008, if you remember 2001 to 2008, I mean, basically, you if you had a pulse, you could get a mortgage. And, you know, they had a lot of mortgages out there where they didn't require that you put any to show any income, you know, stated income type of loans. Those have mostly gone away. I haven't seen too many of those come back. So I think most people today have put 5, 10, 15, 20 percent down in their home. And they're going to they're going to do whatever they can to, to hold on to that mortgage. So I don't think we're going to see that big collapse. But I do think that if, if interest rates stay this high for a long time, there's going to be a gap. Prices are going to sit. You know, people are nervous. Sellers and a lot of sellers have these you know, unrealistic expectations. And unfortunately, that they're going to get a reality because buyers are going to be more patient. They're going to wait. So I think it's a great time if you've never bought a home. I think it's a good time. You know, go to family members, go to people around you, 
And, and, and if you need help with that down payment, this could be a good time because you could easily go to your rich uncle and say, listen, you're making, you know, 1% in the bank. Let me a little money so I can get my first home. Let me have this American dream and, and move my way out of this and, and finally get a piece of, of owning a home. So I think, I think for buyers, there's a pretty good opportunity. Um, interestingly enough, one thing that I thought was going to happen was the office market. And what we found, there are a lot of offices sitting vacant. But there are a lot of smaller offices that actually are getting rented. The smaller uh, 500 to 2,000 square foot office space, those spaces are actually getting rented because a lot of people are just ready to get out of their house. So it is interesting. Things are shifting a lot. A lot of those big offices, those companies are having like 10, 20, 40,000 square foot offices. Those are really struggling. But there is a big segment of America that, that does want to get out of their house. So the smaller sort of uh, occupancy uh, office space is actually doing pretty well right now. So we know that the feds, um, I mean, they're, you know, they're doing their rate shifts, their rate changes and all of that. What effects uh, do you think that's going to have on the economy? Now, we also know, you know, what they say and what they do can differ. And there's a lot of uh, secret privy only to the Fed that they want to get out and push out there. But uh, where do you see that taking our economy? Yeah. So, I mean, the last big pullback was 2008 and and obviously interest rates went up for a very short time to above five percent and then the government started stimulating the economy they started doing quantitative easing and and the 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 economy turned around pretty quickly i think it by 2010 things moved pretty fast this scenario we really can't do that right we can't put more money in the economy if we say inflation is too high so i think that we're sort of in a tough situation now where we can't just print money. We can't just give out a lot of cheap money right now. So I think that's why a lot of people think this recession could last till even 2024, mid, maybe second or third quarter, because they can't just stimulate the economy. If that makes sense, they have to they have to keep interest rates high. They have to go in this direction because inflation is is finally you know kicking around a, a higher number than everyone's reporting. Now, you and I have been talking about inflation. It's it's been much higher than two percent for a long time. But now the cost of goods has gotten really day to day cost of goods, food cost, food costs have gotten really expensive. So they've having to finally report these numbers. So I think this recession lasts probably to about 2024, which means the stock market is going to be in a lull for a long time. Uh, also, in this Inflation Reduction Act, one of the things that passed in there is that they're they have this buyback tax for corporations. I don't know if you saw that in there, but basically. They're going to tax corporations from buying back their own stocks, which I believe is, is, is a huge deterrent. I mean, one of the great things about this country and you know, corporations is that they would buy their own stock. They believe in their company. Now what they're doing is they're going to make it a tax. They're going to tax it in that Inflation Reduction Act. So I think you have a lot of factors that are going to hurt the stock market in the near future. Um, you know, high unemployment is going to be hard. And I think overall, once people get used to this, you know, sitting in this high inflation, I think people's spending is going to drop. I think this Christmas is going to be really slow. So I think there's going to be a lot of trickle effects to all these feds keeping interest rates high. I don't know what the alternative is because obviously they need to get interest rates down. But unfortunately, it is going to affect people's 401ks. It's going to affect the stock market. Um, there's there's a lot of areas of people's lives that are going to be affected. So, you know, I, the re, one of the reasons, you know, I've partnered with you guys and you guys listening who have watched me for years is because you offer a solution to, 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 to that issue, to what's going on. So how can our listeners here listening to your broadcast um, get over this hump, so to speak? How how can what you do help them? Yeah. So if you're looking for an alternative asset, uh, precious metals could do really well. And I, I'd say everybody's sort of thinking about precious metals right now because we've had this these all these energy crisis all over the country california you know they sent out a text message everyone last week saying stop using your air conditioning even though it was 110 degrees they also told people to not charge their energy efficient vehicles you know their ev vehicles but and, and they told them to stop for that night but the week before they passed a law telling people that in the near future you're not going to be able to own a gas car so there's a lot of contradiction out there, but basically energy costs is one of the reasons that we're seeing inflation so high. And silver is the most conducive metal. It's highly used in energy efficient vehicles. It's definitely used in solar panels to a, a big degree. And if you look at a lot of the big mining companies right now, they've said that we're using about 120 million ounces in the US for solar panels. 
they think that's going to go in the next 10 years, they think that could go up to 500 million ounces uh, of silver that will be needed. So there's going to be a huge growth to try to uh, find more silver. And, and what that's going to do is it's going to increase the price of silver in the long term. So, you know, there are mining companies out there you may want to look at. We don't do that. But if you want the physical silver, gold, something that you're interested in, you know, we can help you with that. 401ks, IRAs, you can put physical gold in there. It's not a fund, not a stock. So if that's something they're looking to do, they can go to noblegoldinvestments.com. Or if they want to talk to a live person here in the U.S., uh, they can give us a call at 877-646-5347. Yeah, and I want to encourage you guys to do that. You know, get yourself diversified. Make sure you're not putting all your ducks in the U.S. dollar. I think there's a lot of options. And right now, you're, you guys are also giving away this uh, one tenth ounce American Eagle with any approved plan as well, correct? Absolutely. All, all IRAs, all approved IRAs, we're going to send that coin directly to your, to your doorstep. Just as a free gift so you can get a little little gold and silver in your hands. But if anyone that just wants to learn about precious metals, I think it's a great time uh, just to get educated. Uh, we're a family business. You know, you're going to talk to a live person. You're going to talk to a friendly person. Uh, check out our reviews if, if you want to get more information about us. But if you're looking for an alternative, you're not happy where you're at or you're looking to diversify some of your money, I think it's a good time to just open up the dialogue and have that have that conversation. Absolutely. And they also have a YouTube channel. I'm going to throw that up on the screen here. Uh, you guys can see he's got lots of great information. He's even got some Elon Musk videos on there that you guys are going to want to check out. But he's got the history of money, all this great stuff that you're going to want to hear. So subscribe to the channel too, uh, so you guys can uh, do what I do and, and follow uh, Colin Plume and his group there at Noble Gold Investments. Uh, but anyhow, thank you again for coming on the broadcast, Colin. I truly appreciate it. Thanks, Lisa. Have a good day. And thank you guys as well. I love you all. Thanks again for tuning in. If you want more information uh, about Noble Gold Investments, it's found in the description box below or give them a call and let them know uh, you heard us today on the channel. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven and that was Colin Plume signing out.